Hi, Assalamualaikum. Okay, now I will show you the MRP example. So, we start with example 2. This question is taken from the past year final exam. And this question is about uh, product Y made of three type of child part. Y, Y1, Y, Y2, Y, Y3. And then these are the forecasts. They have 8 weeks. And the forecast available is only for week 5, 6 and 8. And then they said that the lead time for YY is 2 weeks. And the on-hand inventory is 50 units. And these are the information for the child part. YY1, the lot size rule is lot for lot. So you buy any amount. And then for YY2, they have 100 lot size in which they need to buy in the 100 uh, for example 100, 200, 300 and then for YY3 they need to buy in 250 lot in which 250, 500 and 750 and so on and also they gave us information on the lead time for each of the child part and then the beginning inventory or the inventory on hand and also they give information on the bill of material so the first one is the question is to develop MPS so to double MPS, you need the forecast. So these are the forecast. So you just put the week until 8. And then the quantity for this is the beginning inventory. Here, 50 unit. And then we have 150, 250, 150 for week 5, 6 and 8. Next, we need to draw the bill of material or product tree structure. So we have information here. So to have YY, we need 2 YY1, 1 YY2, and 3 YY3. So we have the bill of material. Now we're going to do the uh, table. So these are the common table that I always use. So these are the lot size. Okay, these are the lead time on hand. These are the name of the item. Okay, these are the uh, information, the gross requirement, schedule requirement, the on hand. And then net requirement, we have PO for purchase order received, and then purchase order release. Okay, so we have 8 week, and then we have to put in all the forecast information here. So once you have this one already, so we start with 50. So 50, week 1, 50, week 2, week 3, week 4, and then week 5, we have to do the calculation because we have the gross requirement. So 150 minus 50, we have on hand, so we need only 100 to buy. And then since we need the lot size is lot for lot, so we can buy at 100. And when to release, we follow the lead time. So release 1, 2. And then here, okay. And then we do for the next one. So since we already use 50 all of the on hand so we left with zero so for week six we have 250 minus zero 250 and then for how many to buy 250 and then again lot for lot so we can buy at 250 so when it will be released so two weeks the time so one two and 250 should be here and then there's nothing uh, for week seven and for week eight we have 150 again we have nothing on hand so 150 minus 0 is 150. Then we need to purchase 150. Again, lot size, uh, lot for lot. So we can buy at 150. So when it will release at 2 weeks of lead time. So 1, 2 and 150 should be here. So we have complete the YY MRP. Now we're going next, we're going to do YY1 MRP table. So we add one more for YY1 again. Lot, uh, the lot size is lot for lot, lead time is 2, on hand is 0, YY1, so the gross requirement information is coming from YY. So we transfer YY uh, information here, but we need 2 of this one. So 2 times 100 and also 2 times 250 and this one is 2 times 150. So we have gross a requirement already set then we look at the on hand on hand we have zero so zero here zero here and then from we start to calculate and again this is 200 minus zero 200 
and then we need to purchase 200 and when to release date time is two weeks so one two so we're going to write 200 here next uh week four we have 250 times two we have 500 on hand zero so 500 we need to purchase 500 again lot for lot so we can buy 500 when to release two weeks uh lead time so one two and 500 should be here and then there's no activity for week five week six okay week six we have two times 150 is 300 minus zero is 300 need to purchase 300 again lot for lot we can buy at 300 release at two weeks lead time one two at 300 should be here so we're done with the yy1 so next we're going to do mrp for yy2 so we add one more for yy2 again lot size yy2 is 100 and then the lead time is 3 the on hand is 650 yy2 then don't forget to put 650 here and then for the gross requirement it's linked from yy so we transfer since they only need one yy so we just take the number 100 250 150 okay and then we can start do the calculation so 600 bring here 650 650 650 okay now we can do the calculation 100 is needed so we have 650 so we have a lot so we can take from the on hand so when we use 100 for this demand so we left with 550 so do we need to purchase anything no purchase uh, receive zero but we still need to fill up the uh, table so when to release so lead time is three so one two three so actually we need to write it here since it's not it's no longer in the uh, table for the week one so you don't have to write anything okay and then we go for week 4, 250. Remember, we have left 550. So again, do we need to purchase anything? No. But our on hand have reduced to 300 because we have take 250 from here. So we left with 300. So we finish up the calculation for here. So we need to purchase? No. Because we have a lot on hand. We all uh, receive 0. So we need to... To write the zero three weeks lead time so one two three so it's going to be here okay then we go to week five so no gross so no calculation here then we carry 300 to week six okay since we have 150 we still have on hand 300 so the uh, on hand here will be 300 minus 150 because we have used it here so we have left Oops, sorry. This one should be 150, yeah? So, it should be 150. So, we need to buy anything? No, because we still have uh, enough here. So, where to, to write the zero? So, three weeks lead time. One, two, three. So, the zero should be here. So, since there's no gross here, so just bring 150 here and 150 here. Sorry for the mistake here. It should be 150. Okay, now we're done with YY2. So, the last part is the YY3 MRP. So, we add one more. YY3. So, again, the lot size is 250. The lead time is 2. The on hand or beginning inventory is 100. And the name of the item is YY3. And then put 100 here because we have 100. And then, again, YY3 need 3 times of YY. So, YY here. So, 100 times 3, 250, bring down here, times 3, 150 times 3. So, now we have fill up the gross requirement. So, now we start to do calculation. So, bring this 100, 100 here. So, there's uh, no calculation. No. Okay, this one we need to start to do calculation. So, this one is 300. And then we have 100 on hand. So, we still need another 200 to buy. So remember the lot size is 250 we need to buy at minimum 250 okay because in the 250 lot size so what we have to do 
we have to release uh, to receive the PO at 250 and when to release two weeks so one two so it should be here okay and don't forget we have extra even though we have used all the hundred we have 50 here from where it's from here because you need to buy 250 but you only use 200 so 50 you have to put on the week four okay so we carry week four here so this one we have to do the calculation three times 250 is 750 we have 50 okay so we only need to buy 700 again we need to buy in the form of 250 lot uh, one lot so we only can buy at 3 times 250 so again we cannot buy at 700 because lot side say that we need to buy in the lot of 250 so 3 times 250 and then when we're going to release the po so two weeks so one two so gonna be here and again we only use 700 we have uh order extra so the 50 will be here okay so since week five uh, no gross so week six we need to calculate again three times 150 is 450 we have on hand from here 50 and then uh, the net is 450 minus 50 we need to buy 400 so again we cannot buy at 400 because it's not lot for lot so we need to buy in form of 250 so the nearest one is 2 times 250 in which 500 we need to buy when to release 2 weeks so 1, 2 we need to uh, release 500 and again we have balance here we buy 500 but we only use uh, 400 so we have extra 100 here so we need to bring it to week 7 but no gross so we need to bring to week 8 since no gross so we have left with 100 so again the question want us to give the information on what are the remaining inventory for yy1 yy2 and yy3 at the end of week 8 so these are the information that they need for yy1 0 left yy2 150 and yy3 we have 100 so you need to answer like this remaining inventory for yy1 is 0 yy2 is 150 and yy3 is 100 okay so that's all the information they want and all of this uh, you it's full mark is 15 marks okay next i will show you on the mrp example one